everybody. Um, welcome back. Uh, this is Surface Noise and I am John. Um, and today is another uh, installment in the uh, Top 100 albums. So today's record is Moby. Play. Get a good look at that. Now this is uh, this was released in 1999. Um, if you don't know, Moby, um, mostly an electronic artist. Um, he um, initially was uh, kind of known for dance, dance music, I guess. Um, one of his bigger hits at the beginning was Go. Um, he even, I think, was quoted as saying at one point he was so synonymous with that song that people referred to him as Moby Go <laughs> because I guess that's just when they saw the title it was like it was one word um, so that was early on um, late late 80s I guess early 90s um, he did a lot of different things um, when he was very I think he was a teenager he was actually played guitar and was in the video for the band Ultra Vivid Scene he played briefly with them I don't know if he was ever an official member, but apparently if you go see the video, I think it's, the song is called She Screams. I think he's in that. So he was, he did that. He did a lot of different uh, things, DJing around New York City and stuff like that. Um, um, but he did a lot of different electronic music, dance music, some ambient, um, a lot of different formats. Um, one of his uh, earlier albums, the first one I really heard was Everything Is Wrong, um, which was all mostly different formats, I think, of electronic stuff. Uh, I thought it was good. I thought it had some good tunes on it, good rec good songs on it. Um, and the next one I was really familiar with after that was, I think, Animal Rights, which was more of a rock record. Um, there was some quieter instrumental stuff at the end, near the you know second half of that record, but the fir first had a lot of heavier stuff, which uh, apparently alienated him a bit from his his uh, fans of the dance music. Um, it did include a cover of uh, That's When I Reach For My Revolver, which was a great tune. Um, and after that is when he got, got to work on this album here, Play. Um, and he, at the time, apparently wasn't sure. He thought this might be the last record he does, so, you know. Um, so I think he kind of went for it uh, in that sense that when you think you're you're putting possibly changing he said he might thinking he might change careers even so um, when you think this is the, your last kick at the can maybe you just put out put everything into it and came out with something pretty great um, so a lot of the or some of the the music um, the songs on here um, there were samples he used from a uh, field recordings by Alan Lomax um, and it was called Sounds of the South a musical journey from the Georgia Sea Islands to the Mississippi Delta so there's a th I believe there's three or four tracks on here that he sampled that from he also sampled some old gospel recordings uh, to use for some some of the songs um, so uh, it, may, it certainly gave it a different uh, sound. I mean, it's a combination of some electronic stuff and some old, very, you know, older sounding uh, blues music and stuff. It was pretty cool. Um, there was um, eight singles off of this. So um, initially, um, the album didn't do too well. I sent it to people. They, they wasn't really getting reviewed that well. It wasn't getting a lot of attention. Um, at some point, they decided, him and his management decided to start licensing um, the songs to, for TV, for commercials, for films, uh, which is why you might recall that around that time his music seemed, this, songs from this album seemed to turn up everywhere, in movies and in, on TV commercials, everything. And that's, that's why, because they were, even though they were not just giving them to anyone, um, they did like, uh, you know, see what what it was a lot of it went to some independent films and things too so it wasn't just uh commercials and films and stuff but um you know they did end up licensing every single track off the record so 
um, which is again why you would have heard a lot of these songs. I remember hearing porcelain a lot. It seems in in films and in I think even some commercials and stuff. But um, the singles, um, "Honey," uh, "Run On," "Body Rock," uh, "Why Does My Heart Feel So Sad," "Bad," sorry, "So Bad," uh, "Natural Blues," "Porcelain," and they did um, release Southside as a single, but it was a remix, and they had Gren Stefani sing on it. Um, and then Find My Baby was the final single. So, um, I, I, yeah, the whole thing, I think the whole thing is good. It, it's got a neat vibe, and um, most of those singles carry on through the first uh, three quarters of the album. The last uh, quarter of it has a lot of um, quieter stuff, acoustic and piano instrumentals and things like that. A little bit of singing, I think, too, but but mostly uh, on the mellow, the chill side of things. So, um, as for my copy, uh, this is a Vinylly Please Press. This is from like uh, 2017. Um, pretty nice though. I never, I have the CD, like I have the double, the, um, the, C, the double CD, which came with, I guess it was the, it was the later, um, a later uh, release of the CD because it came with the B-Sides CD as well, which was released at a later time. Um, this is pretty cool. This is actually make a good poster to put on the wall. <laughs> I like that. He does all those drawings, I believe, too. Oh, so basically, and then the second one here is Natural Blues, so you got those two. Both would look good on the wall, actually. Okay, so the actual vinyl for this, uh, this one is kind of a Marine blue, I guess, aquamarine kind of thing. Um, the sleeve's cool too. You got a picture of Moby there. And uh, then we've got lyrics. Disc two is like this. Again, the aquamarine color. Pretty nice. Looks good spinning on your turntable, that's for sure. And then the rest of the uh, pictures there. Right there so yeah from uh, from the singles that were released I would have to say that run on and I think porcelain are probably my two favorites I do like um, I like uh, the whole record I mean it's all great um, I think it's an absolute classic which is why it's on my list um, he did also release a DVD which had all the um, uh, the videos as well um, from uh, the, the thing because there was eight singles and stuff and some of them are pretty cool um, Some of them, like the porcelain one is phenomenal. I think that's one of the best videos and I think the why does my heart feel so bad had It was like the hospital one where Christina Ricci's in it too. I think if I recall there was there was a lot They did a lot of creativity with the the songs for the videos for this album. So yeah, it was great It was kind of a um, an event really uh, it, it everything around it it was more than just a record and and just the story of how how it all came, went down i mean it potentially could have been a big failure for him um but with all that licensing they did to get the music out there and uh, that really um uh, got him the the attention that he was looking for because he said in the past the uh his music hadn't really been getting out there. It wasn't on any kind of mainstream format. It wasn't, the videos weren't being played on like say MTV or that kind of stuff. So that's a big reason why he did things the way he did it this time. And it definitely worked out. Um, uh, one of the great records, um, probably his best, my his f favorite of mine. Um, but uh, you know, yeah, it, it definitely is, is, is a great record. And if you haven't heard it, I'd recommend it for sure. So that's it for today. Um, just a reminder, I do have a website, servicenoise.ca. Please uh, check it out if you like. Um, also, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs, uh, give it a like, and eh, thumbs up, I guess, a like. And um, um, yeah, and I'd appreciate it if you subscribe as well. It'd be awesome. Thanks for everything. Thanks for watching, uh, and I'll see everyone next time.